Cornet, and today I have the greatest pleasure of my life. I have Elijah Turner, who doesn't like to think he's the black militant anymore, but I like him as my token black militant. And he and I are going to get into it like we did in the very beginning. We're going to talk about all the controversial issues, and I'm the typical wasp. And we'll go, uh, go at the different things involving in the school system, which we're both knowledge about, and which some of our opinions agree, but mostly we differ. And it should be an interesting show today. So with that, we'll be back in about 30 seconds. Thanks. Alice is her name. Has a job two afternoons a week. You might think she's a fool working for an organization that doesn't pay a dime, that often has impossible hours, that's involved in one disaster after another, that even asks for blood. Alice. Just what kind of a fool is this girl? One of the millions upon millions of people who helped the American Red Cross. Alice is a fool. We hope you're that kind of fool, too. Pay off. No, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't ask her, you know. She, I just knew by her comment that you guys didn't, didn't, didn't get along. Hi. We're back and, and uh, already into our conversation. What do you think we should talk about first, the superintendent selection process or the thing that's on the news right now, the verdict in the Foster uh, murder trial? Let me ask you. Uh, you and were involved the same as I was in that we both loved Dr. Foster as a human being and we knew he was doing a good job and, and uh, really moving the Oakland Public Schools ahead and cut down unnecessarily and, and wastefully, aside from the fact that he was a human being, he was more than that to Oakland. I had, it was hard for me to, to get into that trial and, and to, uh, it just, it just seemed so far away, and yet I felt that the jury was a good jury. What do you think? Well, you know, I've, I've had several concerns about <clears throat> the, uh, not particularly about the incident of Marcus Forsen. Of course, I regret that, you know, along oh, yeah. with everybody else. But I think one of my biggest criticisms has been the press. Uh, during the whole SLA, you know, Patty Hearst okay. thing, the whole Marcus Forsen thing has surfaced. I mean, it wasn't. Uh, the emphasis in terms of the press about, you know, all the programs that he had started, instigated, that was never mentioned. No. It was always the, the uh, stuff that, you know, I guess the news industry think that's attractive to people, and that was the whole Patty Hearst thing. One of the, the other thing that bothered me it, uh, was, as you say, I was involved, you know, on, uh, and I've decided as a member of the Board of Education in terms of selection of a superintendent, and, you know, that had to do with the <laughs> that process. That was a long time. But one of the things that, that, that bothered me about this, it took us 400 years, you know, to get a black superintendent of schools. As a matter of fact, in Oakland, he was the highest public official within the city. And, and, and the with. press played this off. Right. I mean, they really played it off. I mean, after, you know, uh, about four or five days after Marcus Foster was, was you know, assassinated, uh, and then the Patty Hearst thing came on the scene, the whole Marcus Foster thing was surfaced. I don't think the press really tr treated that right in terms of, of what it meant, not only in terms of a sort of a symbolic image in terms of the black community, but also uh, as an right. administration, as an administrator, which I think could have been good in terms of the Open Board of Education. That has never been surfaced uh, in terms of the press, and I think the press should be criticized for that. I didn't even, that, and because I'm not black, of course, it never occurred to me, but that's true. He, I saw him as a loss of a personal friend and, and just the loss of a human being, but yet to the black community, he would represent, as you said, something that took hundreds of years, and they never did. That was never covered. It was a black man that was assassinated by the SLA group, and then the Patty Hearst thing evolved, right. and he went, you know. It was surfaced. I mean, the name was, of Marcus Foss was surfaced. Uh, the press has not treated, you know, talked about the kind of program that he wanted to instigate that he, did, that he had started. And the things that he's done. Right. Did in the short right. in three years. And, and out of all of the books that have been written, uh, there's very little mention about Marcus Foster and what he meant uh, as a sim symbolism in terms of the black community and as administrator uh, who I think were uh, in spite of uh, some of the constraints that might have been held in terms of members of the board 
But I think that, that he was on the way to do an excellent job. And I'm not, when I said that, I don't say that everything that Marcus Foster would done and Inskay that I agreed with. But I think yeah, but on, on the whole, I think that he, he uh, in terms of looking at the situation in Oakland, uh, in terms of, you know, elements within the community he, that he had to work with, I think he'd done a, a, a magnificent job. He, what he did that was the big thing and that we we're trying to, to, to keep is instead of each year, each, each, each school child that was not up to grade level, was not only staying below that grade level, like say they were reading at third grade level and fifth grade, mm -hmm. before Marcus Foster came, they were not only going into third grade, into fifth grade reading at third grade level, by the time they were through fifth grade, they were reading at second grade level, they were going backwards. But by the, when Marcus Foster was assassinated, he had made a presentation to us. I don't believe it was the night of his assassination, although we had had a, a special board meeting of presentations the night of November the 6th. But he, uh, is in some period there, in the fall, he had explained to the board, and I, the press carried it, I think, and, and to the community, that we had stopped that. A child that was reading at third grade level, when they went into fifth grade, went on. They didn't go backwards at all. They, and they didn't stay at third grade level and fifth grade. They might have made, not made it to fourth grade, but they got third grade plus. Right, so well, that, that, was, that was a big deal. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot when they're reading below average, but for the kid, it's tremendous. Right, but I'm saying, those are the kind of things that the press should have dealt with, you know, in terms of what he had instigated and what the kind of education impact would have had on the school population within the city of Oakland. Now, the other thing that I hope, and it's not too late to do, uh, as we in Oakland began to celebrate the bicentennial, and I hope that there is a large segment uh, that not only devoted in terms of the whole education institution within the city of Oakland, but I hope that there is something uh, that is dealt with in terms of Marcus Foster and what that meant in terms of the, you know, where Oakland is going in terms of its history and, you know, what, what does the future last for Oakland? We're on the same wavelength, because I was just going to say that I hope the, the, that we will have commemorate his birthday, which is March 31st. That's where you and I met and we started this program right. at his birthday, uh, although we had known each other many years before that. I'm having a little difficulty because we have a short, you know, we, the kids need 180 days. We have to have 180 teaching days. Mm -hmm. That's for the teacher. Actually, the kids are now only getting 177 days in school and the teachers have three days to close up their stuff, which is you know, not too good. As the teachers uh, feel the need for for more money and more fringes, et cetera, that's some of the things that go. But I have always felt, since Marcus Foster was assassinated, that he, and you spelled it out when you see him as a black leader and as a black person, you see that more than the white press and the white owners of the newspapers would see that. And, and the black press or the black leadership should have been saying that to somebody because I think they can understand well, well, I think, it. I think, I think that, that the black community understands it very well and I think they feel it. It's just but they that, need that to say it because how would a white they, person They know say it? it but they don't say it in, in, in the place. I mean we have nothing to do in terms of uh, what is printed in the press. I'm sure that uh, if the press and um, you know the Oakland Tribune, the Chronicle, AP, uh, all of them, uh, not only the, the uh, major networks, but also all the individuals going around writing books in terms of SLA. They haven't talked, how many people you talk to about what the value of Marcus Foster was so that they could be included in some sort of book if somebody wanted to write a book on SLA. But instead of that, people dealt with, with the, the kind of uh, eye-catching incidents in terms of the SLA and never dealt with, 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 with Marcus Foster. And I'm saying that I don't put that blame on the black community, I put it on, on the press. Now, you know, it's, 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 that is, you know, the, uh, the, the way I see it. And I, I don't think we should, we should uh, you know, like blame the black community for that because we don't well, control the press. somebody has got to speak we out and say it. it. A white person wouldn't think of it. Well, I'm not saying a white, I'm saying the press, period. People who are writing books, which will, this period in Oakland will go down in history. Uh, the incident yesterday. Now, let me, let me just mention another thing. I want to thing. go back to that right, birthday let me, let me, before okay. you get on something but else. What I meant in terms of, of a symbolic, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, young black kids who are coming up, they need a symbol like That's They need right. an image, something to it that they can work for, which they never had before. Black students, uh, in, never in the history of Oakland, have been looked forward and saw a man of their same color, you know, in many cases, their same background, uh, who is in one of the highest public or hold one of the highest public position in the city. 
I mean, oh, they paid more money. They then, paid more money than any right. other and, and other thing. And I think that, coupled with this program, but I think even that even is even greater in terms of that kind of motivation thing in terms of students than uh, you know some of the programs he, that he's talking about. Because unless students are motivated, I don't care what kind of program you have, uh, right. it's 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 not going to uh, you know. I mean, it's, it, I think that the benefits would in terms of them something they can strive to or try to be like when they get that age. But I think we need to perpetuate what you said about what you were saying about Marcus Boss rather than the the horror of the the happening the the life of the man okay right. and you're saying incorporated into the bicentennial which is right but I'm saying one way to start that we have before us and the the student body the all city council which is the student group from the Oakland public schools has brought it to the board and I mentioned it last year and we didn't have room in the calendar I said let's not get into the assassination let's have a birthday celebration which we did and we did that down well. Jackman Square now I think in the school calendar we could do away with another holiday if necessary I mean and I in in, in the well, it, well it, let, let, before you get there, let me say this I think one of the greatest thing that this board present board of education and it's too bad that you're gonna be leaving could do is hurry up and get a superintendent school a permanent superintendent school I think that should be the priorities I'm hoping we'll have well, one before I'm, I'm I leave. I'm saying, but, uh, but uh, you know, like, uh, this has been going on since November 3rd, 1973. November 6th, 6, 6, 1973. 1973. And, you know, it's, it's an indictment on the Board of Education, now, you as president, that uh, as many people, you know, as around, and I'm not saying that you can get another Marcus Foster, but I'm sure looking. that there are enough educators and administrators uh, within this country and that, you know, you guys have been flying all over the country, you know, uh, dining and whining and all this kind no, of stuff. And I can't see why, with all the brains on the board, that they have not come up with the superintendent of schools at this time. I think it's bad. All right, now let me answer and, this. And, well, why can't you tell me why? I'm going to tell you why okay. if you'll listen to me. And then we got a break. Just I have three minutes to do this. Number one, we had a different situation than when you and I first met when we didn't have a superintendent what, what, what because, the in the well, he was assassinated. So It's like losing your mother. Is your father going to remarry the next year? He's very upset and devastated. We were absolutely devastated because... But it, the harm, we, there are more harm done without a no, father to replace him than it is to keep existing and you, moaning. I, I don't think, you know, I no. mean... You go back to the father-mother situation. You have an older brother that steps into the shoes. We had Bob Blackburn, who lived through that assassination. But he's an Marcus That's right. But he's capable. He's followed Mark's in, in Mark's programs and ways. And we are practically ready to get into the superintendent, hopefully, before I leave next Friday. Well, are you going to tell me who that, who that person is going to be? Uh, where and we do them? not fly all over the country and wine and dine anybody until we've agreed on one person. How, and many, we trips, have, how many trips have you made back? I've to made you? none to interview anybody. How many anybody. trips have the board administrators have made back? We've made none how to interview anybody. Tickets have you right paid? Now, how many airline tickets have you paid for potential uh, person? About 25. 25 airline we've tickets, all right? We've had about 25 right? people that's, out And that's, that's, that's around at least $400 per person right. per trip, about 500 that's So right. that's uh, about close to $12,000 that y'all have spent, which would almost pay the salary, the of, one salary? Of, the teachers, of one of the teachers that you left, that you, uh, you know, dismissed. Let's not get and controversial. I, no, the second no. half the show is going to break, dear, for about 60 seconds. And you're, we're going to stop on this exciting controversial issue, and we'll get at, back at it in about 60 seconds. We'll be right back with you. Thank you. Some people have a deep, abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. And some people don't. People start pollution. People can stop it. 